Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of Java puzzles, let us go with one more new puzzle in this video. Here in this, we have taken a class, my class, uh, with a property with a data member string str. And here we have taken a method, my class, and in that we are assigning str equal to hello. Coming to the main method of class Java puzzle 36. Here we are creating object of my class. My class mc equal to new my class. And after creating object, we are printing the value mc.str means we are taking the value of this string and we are printing that value using object. Now let us see the options for this program. The options are like A option null, B it's going to display a message hello, C option compile time error, and D option zero for this puzzle maximum people will choose the option hello the maximum people will, will go with what hello the reason is when you are creating object of my class this is our constructor this is what this is the constructor so what is a constructor it is a method whose name is same as the class name what is a constructor it's a method whose name is same as class name and in Java we create objects using constructor. So what is going to happen when you see this my class we think that the control will go to this my class because it is a method whose name is same as class name. So we think that this is a constructor and it is going to assign the value to str as hello and when we are printing mc.str it is going to display the message hello. So for this reason many people will go with the option b that is not the correct option the correct option for this code is a option that is null the correct answer is what here null a option now let me elaborate why it goes with the option a null why the value of str is null so the main concept is first of all we should know what is a constructor what is a constructor a constructor is a method whose name is same as the class name which is used to initialize the object and does not return anything not even void but what we have done in this code we have taken a method whose name is same as class name but we are going with a written type void here then this is not our constructor this is not a constructor so it is it will become a ordinary method this is what it is a ordinary method so we have to call this method means when you call the method by using object mc dot my class when you call the method mc dot my class then only the method will get executed so whenever you call the method then only the method will get executed then the value of str will become hello when you invoke this statement then only the value will become hello but i have just created object of my class but i did not call this my class method at all so this method will not get invoked then it won't take the value hello for our str now in this case in our my class did we create any constructor no so when a class does not have any constructor if a class is not having any constructor then java is going to create what here a default constructor my class so it's going to create a constructor my class so this constructor will get created implicitly if a class does not have any constructor now when you create object of my class it's going to invoke this default constructor but there is no code inside then it's going to allocate memory for your object mc dot str it's going to create object in mc and it's going to allocate memory for this data member property str and what is the initial value since str is of type string reference type string is a class reference type and what is the default value for reference type it is null the default value is what here null that is the reason when you are accessing this mc.str so since there is no value to this str it is going to take the default value null that's the reason the correct output of this program is what here null so the point is recapping so whenever a class is created if there is no constructor inside the class a default constructor will be created 
and it is void when we are using written type for your for a method whose name is same as class name then we should not give written type for your constructor so this is not at all considered as a constructor this is not at all a constructor right so it will become an ordinary method so we have to invoke this method explicitly right so that's the concept more about constructors here that's about in this puzzle please subscribe like and share thank you